Hello friends, welcome to another video. So I haven't made one like this in a while and sorry if I keep looking that way, that's where my screen is right now. That's where I'm able to see if I'm still in focus. Um, yeah, I haven't made a video like this in a long time reviewing products and I'm super excited to do it because these things have been sitting on my piano. I know, it's like a table now. But they've been sitting there for a couple of weeks now, staring at me because they want to be reviewed. And I'm kind of excited because I really wanted to try Korean beauty products and if you guys didn't know already by the title of this video, I'm gonna be testing out beauty products from Korea. Um, makeup, makeup from Korea. They're not really skincare products, but just makeup. Um, as you guys know, I'm more into the full coverage, shocking colors kind of makeup. So I'm going into this knowing that I like my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I like the shocking highlighters, full coverage. I'm a full coverage kind of girl. So I'm going into this review with an open mind because I know usually with Korean beauty, things are a lot more sheer, colors are a lot more sheer, um, and full coverage is kind of like a no-no there, but I totally get it. I wouldn't really want full coverage either if I had such beautiful skin. But um, with all that being said, I'm very excited. I got all of my products from PinkyParadise.com. I'm gonna leave their links down below and you guys can check them out. I've been partnering up with Pinky Paradise for a couple of years now. Mostly I've been reviewing their contact lenses. As you guys know, I love using contacts. Currently I'm not wearing any, but I will in a moment. I wanna just kind of put them on, on the video so you guys can see the before and after. But uh, Pinky Paradise has some of the most diverse contact lenses. I love using more subtle ones for sometimes when I go out I like to wear contacts. It just enhances your makeup and your look so much. And um, I'm breaking things already. So yeah, I know Pinky Paradise mostly for their contact lenses. So this is the first time I'm reviewing anything from them that's not contacts. So the products I'm gonna be reviewing before I go any further are Sam Yang X Tony Molly um, Hot Edition. So everything is kind of from their um, noodle Asian food spicy collection. Everything is just the, the packaging was super cute. Actually before I go any further I'm just gonna show you guys a little unboxing video of their stuff so you guys can see what you're gonna be receiving if you purchase this collection from anywhere because they're just so beautifully packaged. I love the packaging. I'm gonna show that to you guys now. So as you guys can see, everything is just packaged like noodles and Asian food. It's super cute. But I also love noodles, which really helps me liking this brand more. But um, yeah, very exciting. I'm going to go put on some Pinky Paradise contacts because I want to look super extra when we 
unbox things and try them on. I've been so excited about reviewing these products because I've been working in the lab in the last couple of days, I think four or five days in a row, which is kind of uncommon. I work part-time, so I'm not there back-to-back, -back, but I picked up some extra shifts and I was, you know, being a hospital vampire for a couple of days. Super fun, I actually really like what I do, but, but I needed a break, you know, I wanted to play with some makeup and contacts. Fuck, you know. There it is. So these are the khaki... Khaki? <laughs> Sounds like an insult. These are the Pinky Paradise Eurasia contact lenses in the color khaki. Yeah, khaki. Is that how you guys say it? I pronounce it differently. I'm Middle Eastern. I say khaki. But, you know. But yeah, these are really, really gorgeous. Not that different than my own eye color, but it has a blue rim to it, which, as you can see, it's not a huge, huge change. I like contact lenses like this because I can wear them out without people being like, you're wearing contacts. I mean, when you get close enough, you can tell that they're fake, but from afar, they look pretty awesome. And um, they have this like white, silver, gray color that I've been loving. That's the kind of color I use every time I become a vampire in photo shoots. I use that white, you know, contacts. So. I found these applicator things online and honestly, if you have any troubles applying or removing contacts, get yourself these things, um, makes it so much easier. I'm the kind of person that I used to take like 15 minutes putting each contact lens in, but now like takes a second, so. Done. I'm all done. Ooh, my eyes are dry. Ugh. Oh shit, I had makeup on. Okay, now that we have our eyeballs in, I'm gonna review the makeup for you guys. There isn't a lot to review. I can't really do a full face, but the things that are gonna be here, I haven't put on my face. So I don't have foundation on or concealer or anything like that. I do have um, mascara and eyeliner on because I wanted to look a little bit pretty for this video. Um, I didn't want to look entirely exhausted. So, okay, let's get into it. Makeup review. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Let's start with a lip balm. My lips are chappy. Chapped. Chappy? Chapped. Chapped. So the first thing I'm gonna review is the Hot Edition Lip Care Stick. I smelled it. It didn't really smell like a lot, but I'm very excited to try it. I like lip balm, you know. Gotta take care of your lips. Okay. It's a little oilier than usual. I appreciate. I appreciate that. Wow, my lips are super dry. I can like feel sandpaper right now. It smells a little bit like strawberry cream, but as far as the lip balm goes, it's pretty solid. It's, okay, I have to admit, it is a little better than like the usual lip stuff I have. I have lip things all around the house, so I have like this Blistix conditioning lip serum, which I got for like six or seven dollars. It's just kind of like a lip serum and this is better than your typical drugstore product, I have to admit. It's very oily, very thick. It kind of feels like more of a lip mask. Um, it's not as thick, but it's very close to the Bite Beauty lip mask. In a, in a different way, it's kind of, um, it's a lot thicker. I like it. It's a lot thicker without being sticky. I like it, to be honest. I'm into it. The next product. Next product. There's Korean written on this, so I, I have no idea how to say this. This is it. It's cute. It's adorable. It's Korean beauty. So obviously it's bomb. But I'm very excited to try it. The thing is though, I checked online and there's only two shades of this con foundation? Foundation, I guess. It's a cushion foundation. If you know me, which you do now, I like my full coverage. Like, I apply things with my, it's super dirty, I have to clean it. I apply things with this, and I like my full coverage foundations. Currently, I'm really into the, um, I should know this. I should know what I'm talking about. What is it? What's the brand? I'm thinking, oh, Bourjois. Bourjois. I'm really into the Bourjois 16-hour um, Healthy Mix Foundation. It's kind of medium coverage, it's not very full coverage, but like today, 
this is this is the skin with no foundation or anything on it this is me right now i'm so proud of it because usually i am a pizza okay i'm filled with acne you guys think i have great skin i photoshop a uh, duh like i'm trying to be a vampire obviously i'm gonna photoshop my pictures um but when i don't photoshop okay this is worse like you can see a little bit of stuff here but this is really good like compared to what my skin normally is like so annoying i thought i will not have acne when I grow up and they lie to me I still have acne so the days when my skin is shit so the days when my skin sucks I use the NYX can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation in the shade vanilla which is a little bit too pale for me but if you know me I like paler than darker I try not to tan I'm scared of dying from the Sun like skin cancer and shit like that I'm terrified of it um, and before this I was using the Tarte clay found clay amazonian clay foundation which again is full coverage so to be fully honest with you guys i'm not a big fan of cushion products because unless they're full coverage which i found it hard to find i don't like my medium coverage i don't like my low coverage low coverage sheer coverage i'm ranting now so this might be totally for you but you know i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna see how it is right now my skin's relatively good compared to what it is like normally another thing i notice if i'm not mistaken there's only two shades of this available ever if i'm not mistaken i tried to do some research but every website i could find them selling this there's only two shades available so unless you're pale probably paler than me it's probably not gonna really work for you but let's give it a try it's really cute i already opened it um it comes with a little cushion I don't know the name of these I use these things um, and super cute it has a little mirror you open it up and also it comes with a refill so when you kind of finish this up you open up this kind of hot sauce looking packet and you put more product in here I think this is the darker one which should be better for me this is shade 02 and it has SPF 50 that's what I like about it it has SPF 50 awesome i'm down i would probably wear this under my normal foundation let's give it a try as you see i haven't tried this yet so i'm kind of excited i've seen people wear um cushion makeup but i never thought it's for me but let's try it out okay oh quite a bit of product all right oh is it sheer i can't tell okay it's got a bit of coverage to it actually oh under my eyes too this is surprisingly my shade. I thought it's... I thought I'll be too dark for it, but it's actually a little bit more... Um, a little deeper than me too, uh, my shade. I don't know if the light is picking it up, but this, this is my shade, surprisingly. Yeah. Cool. The coverage is not as sheer as I thought. It's kind of medium coverage, in my opinion. I'm kind of okay with this. I didn't think I'd like things like this. I don't think it has a smell. If anything, there is the most subtle, like, citrusy thing happening. But it's too subtle that I'm not even sure if it's just my finger or, like, the product itself. So I think I would use things like this um, when my skin is behaving. You know, when my skin's not acting up, when I don't have any breakouts. Um, so I can, yeah, actually, to be honest, I can, I was really, I went into this thinking I'm kind of gonna hate it because I've tried things like this before and they have been kind of sheer, not Korean beauty, but just um, cushiony type of, and who the fuck is calling me? Hello, Amazon delivery is not a package for you. Oh, thank you. I'll just buzz you in. Thank you. Amazon delivery. Anyway, so I went into this thinking that this was going to be super sheer, but I can see myself using it when my skin's kind of behaving, right? When my skin's not being weird. I like it. I actually like it. I thought I'd hate it, but I like it. Next product. Okay, let's do this. Okay, for this one, no, I'm gonna do the lip stuff last because I love lip things. I'm too excited. I chose this color. I don't know if they have more colors, but I chose this because I love a proper red blush. I think it's super cute. And also for like the more vampiric pictures, I can totally see myself like pounding that on. But I'm gonna try their blush. You guys have already seen it. I'm gonna try the blush and the 
it says blush but it's actually a highlighter so um yeah i'm gonna give it a try the blush is shade 01 and the highlighter is shade 02 i don't know how these are numbered but these are the two products super super cute i'm just gonna use um an eco tools brush i need better brushes guys i need better brushes okay let's see oh yeah i don't know if you guys can see it this is too bright i'm sorry i have too many lights happening i'll just apply a little bit more This is probably not how you should apply blush, but this is how I apply blush because I like to be extra, but probably there's like lighter ways you can apply it, but I want it to be pretty, pretty pink. I want to look like I've been slapped a few times. Oh yeah, it's cute. I like it. I really like it. Solid, I'm down. No, I really like this. It sits really nicely on top of the foundation. It doesn't really disturb the foundation too much, which I appreciate. I like it. Yeah, it's cute. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's actually really cute. I wanna use it again. I actually kind of am digging this makeup look right now. It's pretty simple compared to what I'm into. I, I contour the nose, the cheeks. I contour everything. Um, I like wearing a lot of bright eyeshadows as you guys know dramatic eyeliner this is light for my standards but i really like it i mean for work it's not that crazy okay and i'm just gonna use this um multitask cheek brush from real techniques for the um it's called a blusher but it's more like a highlighter it's got some sheen to it let's see i mean i don't know if this is okay let's give it a try i don't know if this camera is really gonna pick anything i was pretty for what I'm into, as I said, Anastasia highlighter, it's a lot lighter, but it's a very, 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 very subtle sheen to it. You gotta really pack it on to see. If you like blinding highlighters, um, this is not that. It's different. I can see myself maybe using it as a nose highlighter. Usually when it comes to nose highlighters, especially when I'm working and I don't want to look like I'm Rudolph with a bright nose, I like to wear things that are a little less Anastasia shiny, as you guys know, um, less blinding, but yeah, it's very, it's very subtle. You gotta pack that on. You gotta pack it on. Yeah. It's very very subtle not something personally i would like to be honest and you guys know how i wear my makeup normally not something probably my least favorite thing from this collection right now is the blusher that is this bright pink light pink um o2 hot edition noodle blusher it's pretty light i mean i do see a little bit of shine but it's very very subtle and i like my Highlighters to be like blinding, as you guys know. So, totally love it. Not so much, but so far loving it. Least favorite thing right now. But so far, yeah, everything else is pretty good. So, my favorite part, it's a, this is a pretty small collection of things to review. My favorite thing, I've been super excited to review this because, to be honest with you guys, I did try it on and I loved it. So already you guys know that I love it and I just want to show you guys. It's super cool. If you guys know me, I've worn a lot of um, ombre lips in my photo shoots the last couple of months. Probably the first time I did it was like maybe a year ago and I loved it. I love that ombre look. I think if you do nude lips and you go in the center with a bright or deep red, then it looks so vampiric like you just had a sip of blood and you forgot to clean up. I know it's gross, but I think that's really beautiful. In order to kind of get that feel, I'm gonna have to wipe away the um, lip care stick from my lips so that it's a little bit dry. Not entirely dry, 
I made a mistake. My lips are super dry right now because I'm going to be reviewing these two lip stains, which I have a lot of lip stains. I have purchased so many lip stains in the last couple of years. By far, these are like the best. The best. The other ones are great. You know, they're sheer enough that you can use them on the cheeks. You can, you know, use them on the lips. But these ones are so pigmented i wouldn't use them on my cheek they dry really quickly and they stain for a very long time but i made a mistake with putting them on my entirely bare dry lips they made them a lot more dry because during the day i didn't really want to moisturize because i just love that look but i'm not going to do that again because my lips are killing me right now but let's give it a try so this is the hot edition lip sauce tint so cool um one of them is shade 02 and shade 01. Shade 02 is a little bit more sheer, bright, bright red, as you guys can see. It's a little bit bright red. You can you can see here, it's kind of like cherry red. Um, but then the other one is a lot deeper. Still red, just a lot darker. And um, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm super excited about this. So I'm just going to take a layer of that... Um, that lip care stick away and I'm gonna go in with shade 02 bare lips a little bit of moisture there to kind of protect it and let me just apply this at the center here there. It's a little hard to spread the color because as soon as it sits down, it stains your lip and you're just done with that. But I love it. It's a little harder to spread it out. But if you can spend some time kind of painting it, you know, going from the center of the lip out, you can create a nice little ombre, ombre thing. And the other one is exactly the same thing, but darker and actually... I tried this thing and I really liked it. So I apply the shade, the, the lighter shade, the less deep shade. <laughs> the lighter shade, I apply that and I go kind of out with it. I'm sorry, I'm doing this so much. I apply it and I try to kind of drag it a little bit, not completely cover my lip with it, but you know, go a little bit further out with it. And then I like to go in again with the deeper shade. You don't need a lot too, that's crazy. And go in the center. It's a little bit of a shocking look, but I love it. It's got a little bit of a sweet taste, but I wouldn't recommend licking it, especially because it just dries down so quickly. But this is it. My favorite thing by far from the entire collection are these and I was already looking on the website and like putting I put some of these in my cart already so that when I run out of these I can purchase it again I know these are gonna last quite a bit of time for what it does and the pigmentation of the products it's gonna last quite a long time but this is I'm excited because this is the kind of lip look I would do every day it took me like no time I can do it on the go I'm usually very picky with um, the lip thing, the lip that I do for the day, either if I have time, I like to sit down, do lip liner, go into it. Um, I really like spending time doing my lips, or I don't do them for the look, for the day, for the whole day. Because if I do it too quickly, it just looks wonky. And I have so many pictures with like wonky lips, and I hate it. You know when you over like you overline them, or it's just not symmetrical enough, and it just kills me a little bit. This is super quick because it's not meant to be perfect and at the end of it, it looks perfect. I love it. So far, my favorite thing from this entire collection, something that I will definitely reach for again, is the Hot Edition Lip Sauce Tint. Love them. Bomb. The best. The second favorite thing, I have to admit, I'm kind of shocked that I really like it, is the Hot Edition Hot Cover Deck Cushion. Cover Deck. I don't know what that means. but. The foundation, it's pretty decent coverage, it's actually not that sheer and I haven't put any um, setting sprays or setting powder and I haven't worn any um, concealer under my eyes 
and it kind of took care of everything, you know? Usually I will wear foundation, and because it's so full coverage, I will go under my eyes with a full coverage concealer. Um, but this is for like the days where my skin's so good, I don't have to worry about it. So totally would go for products like this again. I actually really like this one. And the shade worked for me. It's a little, little darker than my own shade because I can see the color, of, the, the color of this product. It's a little bit more orangey yellow. And then my own skin is more like a light yellow. So I can kind of see the separation, but I've done worse with my foundation. So I'm not too picky with that. Um, third favorite thing, definitely the Hot Edition Noodle Blusher. Next thing I really love is the... Hot Edition Lip Care Stick. Am I kind of salty that it didn't taste like hot sauce? No. I actually thought because it says Hot Edition Lip Care Stick and it's got a picture of a cute little person blowing up fire, I actually kind of thought this was going to be um, a lip plumping thing and it's gonna be a little spicy. That would have been an amazing. Guys, if you wanna hire me to come up with like product ideas for you, Tony Molly, Sam Yang, I'm down. I'm free, call me. Um, that would have been pretty awesome, but I really like it. I think it's a really solid thing. I'm gonna use it again. It's really moisturizing. My least favorite thing, my least favorite thing would unfortunately have to be the Hot Edition Noodle Blusher because it really, there's a little bit of shine, but I like more. But if you like highlighters, you like highlighting your face without looking like Rudolph, without looking like you have just rubbed diamonds on your face, and you're blinding people, then maybe this is for you. Give it a try. But for me, I like more blinding things. With that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Much thanks to PinkyParadise.com for partnering up with me and bringing these to my audience. I'm super excited. Really like it. I've been working with Pinky Paradise for many years now, I'm collaborating with them mostly for their contact lenses. And thanks to them, I've been able to create some awesome fantasy looks. And on their website, if you guys check it out, they have like a point system that if you are the type of person that buys Korean beauty stuff or contact lenses a lot, um, they have a point system so after some time you save some money. And if you go on their website, a lot of the contact lenses they have are not that crazy expensive. So if you are the type of person who, much like myself, likes to play with contact lenses, check out their website and I'm gonna leave all the links down below to the products that I um, reviewed and also their entire website check them out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully I'll be back soon again with another um, review video but meanwhile yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one I'm gonna go enjoy my face <laughs> I really like this makeup it's so weird it's so light but I really like it I feel pretty thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye